There's no question mistakes are made. Mistakes have been made in like every... Like what? Mistakes have been made in every war in existence. It would have been nice to get some of these tribunals and commissions moving much more quickly. It has been a long time. Uh, if we could have done some of this legal process, you know, a couple of years ago, that would have made things a lot better. So what I about think, the, the interrogation techniques? Again, R Reports uh, of FBI well, memos describing them as borderline torture. I, I, Are you comfortable as a legal I, man with I, that? I, I don't... I, you know, when I get reports, vague reports, it's hard to comment. But again, that's an illustration of my point. The Inspector General of the Department of Justice reviewed this entire issue. Uh, at the end of the day, actually found the FBI had behaved appropriately, had not participated in anything that was uh, inappropriate. Uh, you know, there, there are, at any given time, a whole host of investigations and legal proceedings where these issues are raised. Mind you, sometimes people make claims <coughs> of mistreatment that are unfounded. I mean, I, we shouldn't assume that every allegation is true. You have to follow the rules and you have to follow the law. There are some difficult judgments that people made. In this case, what the inspector general determined is the FBI, in fact, behaved correctly. How long does the war on terror go on for? How do you know when your job is done? Well, I can tell you, as long as they're trying to detonate bombs over uh, the Atlantic Ocean, as long as they're trying to blow up uh, buildings in Germany. Uh, I mean, if you look at all the things that have happened in the last several years that continue to happen, this war is still going on. This is, you know, the ideologues who have launched this war, um, they started it. Now, they haven't yet evaporated. Uh, we don't have the luxury or the freedom to walk away from a fight when the people who are waging the war are continuing to bring the fight to us. You think it's time to close down Guantanamo Bay? What I believe is this. I, I would love to find a way to return most of the members, uh, most people in Guantanamo Bay to their home countries to face justice and also to make sure that there's so they you would like a threat. It to close it down. I, you know, Sammy, in many ways, it would be great to close it down. I don't think, that, however, that that really addresses the issue you're raising, because whether you keep people in Guantanamo May or you move them somewhere else, you still confront this issue that we're dealing with a, a war and a struggle that is unlike one we've ever faced before. And I think what we have to balance is this. Uh, we want to give people a fair process, but you also have to make sure you don't have occurrences like we saw recently, where people are being released so they can pick up a bomb and a gun again and try to take a second try at killing Americans or killing Europeans or killing innocent people in the Middle East. I guess the point I'd leave you with is this. Uh, the people who are f executing this ideology of bin Laden and everybody else are killing innocent people around the world. Months ago, al-Qaeda in the Maghreb blew up a school bus with Muslim school children. I don't see any possible justification for that. And as long as there are people who are out there willing to do that, we've got a balanced need to give them fairness and the rule of law, but also to make sure that we are not hobbling ourselves so that they get two or three or four attempts to kill innocent school children. And that's a very tough issue which we're struggling with.